Hi, we're from Cupertino Robotics, and in this video, we will document our first few steps in our journey of creating new parts using the Tormach 770 CNC mill. In August of this year, we gratefully received our new Tormach mill, which we set up in our robotics lab. Over the past couple of months, we have been excited to experiment with the features of the new CNC mill and discover the advanced and versatile functions the mill offers to our robotics teams at Cupertino High School. Proceeding the preparatory work for setting up the mill, we started learning about the basic functionalities of our CNC by drilling through holes into a piece of polyethylene. Our first practical application of using the mill included developing drill bit collars to fit some of our commonly used screw sizes, such as 1 16th inch, 3 32nd inch, and 1 8th inch drill bits. These collars helped us to adapt our pre-existing drill bits to fit the chuck of our CNC mill. Our first step was to create a flat edge on the piece, where we later labeled the drill bit collar. Next, we turned the piece onto its side to drill holes into it. While milling, we programmed the mill to make multiple passes to remove any rough edges in the metal so it's safe to be handled by our members. Finally, after we engraved a label for the drill bit, we will hang it on the drill bit holders on the mill for any future drilling applications. After fabricating our drill bit collars, our second project tackled the need for versatile aluminium chassis for all four of our FDC teams. Designed in CAD, we utilized the power of G-code to map pathways for the CNC mill to follow, which produced evenly spaced holes into aluminium U-channel frames so the teams could assemble and mount their powertrain of choice. With help from our coach, Mr. Williams, some of the FDC members have recently started to learn how to utilize the machine. Here, one of our FTC members is inserting the appropriate drill bit into the machine to cut one of the aluminium frames. Our next course of action involves placing our piece of aluminium into the vise of the CNC mill and turning the handle to lock the material in place. We then select Cycle Start, which activates the CNC's pathfinding as it begins to follow its pre-programmed route. The machine swiftly passes through the material several times to get rid of jagged corners by gradually shaving down the piece and repeating the same movement. By taking this extra step and care, we can ensure our robot is compliant with the safety standards imposed on our teams by the first organization and the safety of our members when working on the materials. Lastly, once this operation is completed, the piece is removed from the mill with the excess shaving shaken off. This piece will soon go on to be a crucial part of the FTC team's robot base. So far, we have been able to develop parts of the chassis and mech for our four FTC teams, currently competing in the ongoing season with the help of the Tormach 770 mill. For example, Team 6038 used the CNC to make a mounting bracket for the wrist of their robot's arm. Our experience with the Tormach 770 mill in the lab has been exceptional. It has greatly helped our FTC teams and will continue to do so as we move into our FRC kickoff. Our teams at Cupertino Robotics are grateful for the opportunity to revolutionize our build process by incorporating industrial machines in our lab. Thank you for watching, and thank you so much to our sponsors, the Fremont Union High School Foundation, Tormach, and the Jean Haas Foundation, for giving us this valuable opportunity to set up and use this new CNC machine in our lab.